If time goes slower as you go faster, is there a speed that you can go at that would allow you to get to other stars in your lifetime? Well, yes, but big asterisk. The nearest star system to us, Alpha Centauri, is 4.3 light years away. That's conceivably reachable even at sublight speeds. While it's true that the closer you get to the speed of light, the slower time moves for you, it would appear like the world around you is moving in fast forward, which complicates things. It means that there's no way to get to something that's like millions of light years away without millions of years passing. And by then, whatever star you're trying to get to may be dead. Plus, you'll never be able to get things beyond the observer boundary. Not even light could get to us beyond that. So practically, the farther out you're traveling, even if you traveled at an absurd fraction of the speed of light, the less useful it is even with time dilation. Because remember, you still can't go at or above light speed in any frame of reference. So if a star is a million light years away, the minimum to get there is a million years. Time dilation isn't going to make that seem any shorter. Just like the minimum to get to Alpha Centauri would be 4.3 light years. There's no way you're going to get there in a time that feels like it's less than 4.3 years. So yeah, there are stars we could get to, just not the ones that would take billions of light years. Also, we'd have to be okay with traveling into the future, which has its own set of problems.